Hi class, can you listen to me? Yes. Excellent, very good job. Here we go. Welcome everybody, welcome to your class. Good evening. Good evening, good night to you. I'm happy to see you. Hello. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. Hi class, tell me, how's the weather today? Is it hot? Yes, yes right. <laughs> or it's only the teacher, or solo es la teacher. But <laughs> no. It's really hot. Yeah, Rebecca, right? It's very hot. I'm <laughs> melting. Me estoy derritiendo. Yes. <laughs> no, but not. Thank you so much for being here. Gracias por el esfuerzo que hacemos de unirnos a la sesión, ¿ok? Esperemos mm. un minuto más. Just let me do this. Very good. Let's wait for your classmates. Esperemos a sus compañeros. Veamos cuántos son en este grupo. There we go. Okay. Wow, 26. 26. Imagine. Eso me alegra mucho. Hay 26 estudiantes con ganas de aprender. Eso es muy bueno. Sí. Yes, right? So, en honor a los puntuales, ¿le damos ya? Yes. Claro sí. Let's start right now. Thank you so much for being here. Let's start with this class. Tal vez ahorita, ahorita vamos a cambiar un ratito español. De ahí, forget about Spanish. ¿Por qué? Vamos a conocer quién es la teacher, quién es que les está hablando. Ok. Ok. Vamos, aquí vamos. Here we go. Look at my information. Vean mi información, chicos. Un poco sobre la teacher. Mi nombre, Carmen Elena Argueta Villegas. Eh, pero la mayoría, familia, alumnos también, conocidos, me dicen Elena. Es lo más eh, común, pero igual, si ustedes quieren llamarme Carmen Elena, Carmen, solo Elena, teacher, teacher Elena, that's okay. Estamos bien, ¿ok? Un poco sobre mí, para que sepan quién está ayudándoles en el módulo número 2. Eh, soy licenciada en idioma inglés, graduada de la Universidad de El Salvador. Eh, un poco sobre mi experiencia laboral, soy graduada de la Universidad de El Salvador, pero también eh, trabajé ahí en el Departamento de Idiomas Extranjeros y estuve también en este colegio, Colegio García Flamenco, trabajando por casi 10 años, 10 años como docente de todos los niveles, desde parvularia hasta bachillerato y también eh, siendo la coordinadora del departamento de inglés. Entonces, he trabajado con niños también. Eh, Centro Internacional de Idiomas, que este colegio tiene una academia que es para adultos y para niños también. Entonces, también tuve la oportunidad de trabajar con adolescentes y adultos y también me dieron la oportunidad de ser la coordinadora del departamento de inglés de este centro eh, internacional de idiomas. He estado trabajando en clases virtuales en estas tres últimas academias, AppSkill, EduClasses y Regal International, que es esta, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí, ya he practicado bastante, ya varios años de dar clases, es algo que me encanta, créanme, me gusta mucho conocer nuevos estudiantes y aprender de todos ustedes. Un poquito de mi formación académica, aparte de la licenciatura, eh, tengo diplomados en didáctica y planificación de, del idioma inglés, en este caso, diplomado en diseño instruccional y creación de cursos en línea, tanto en inglés como cursos eh, de francés y de cursos en español también. Entonces, eh, un poquito más, eh, tengo un diplomado en traducción e interpretación, también he trabajado como intérprete 
en traducción de documentos, más que todo legales. ¿okay? Así que ahí está un poquito más sobre eh, su teacher, quién es que les va a estar ayudando. Eh, cualquier pregunta, créanme, aquí estoy, díganme teacher, este, y así nos vamos a ir conociendo un poquito más. No tengo miedo, eh, siempre me gusta, en serio, ayudarlos y que todos tengamos confianza entre estudiantes, entre el maestro, estudiantes, porque así se hace un poco más interactivo eh, la clase, y así aprendemos mucho más. ¿Ok? Perdón si en esta primera parte hablo mucho, pero sí es importante, ¿ok? Es importante que sepamos todas las indicaciones. Por ejemplo, algo muy importante, las reglas de la clase. Class rules. Número uno, ¿quién me ayuda a leerla? Number one. Thank you. Uh, first, Rebecca and then Cristelia. Keep cameras on all the time. Ah, ok. Miren esa última parte. All the time. Keep cameras on all the time. ¿Por qué creen que es importante mantener nuestras cámaras encendidas? Porque si no, imagínense si la teacher estuviera dándoles la clase así. Ok, vamos a continuar la clase. Y ustedes y la teacher, ¿dónde está? ¿Será que está durmiendo? ¿Será que está comiendo? No. Es importante vernos para ver la interacción, cómo yo pronuncio que vean los ademanes y todo eso, ¿ok? Así que igual, yo también quiero verlos a ustedes, ver dónde están, qué están haciendo, no tal vez acostados en la cama y escuchando la clase de inglés, no, clase, vamos, cámaras encendidas todo el tiempo, all the time, ¿ok? Solo es una hora. ¿Creen que podemos hacerlo? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can do it, ¿ok? Let's continue. Number two, Cristalia. Uh, speak English. Oh, speak English. ¿Por qué clase? ¿Por qué es necesario hablar inglés en esta hora? Because I think that it's important practice every day, of, uh, all the time in the class. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think that this is um, proposed. So you try to connect in all the night, but mm -hmm. you need to learn Um, more vocabulary, um, you need to learn um, different vocabulary. So this is my opinion about you speak all the time, all the English in the classroom. And you're Don't right, do. you're right. Toda la razón. In synthesis, speak English. Why? Because this is an English class. We don't need to practice Spanish now. Forget about Spanish. We all speak Spanish, right? No more Spanish, English. Pierdan el miedo. ¿Cuál es la base del inglés? Tómenlo como un triángulo, ¿ok? Confianza. La gramática, vocabulario. ¿Qué si sabemos mucha gramática? Mucho vocabulario, teacher. Pero nos da miedo hablar. ¿Qué creen que va a pasar? No. Never talking. No, nuestro cerebro se va a frustrar y va a decir, no puedo. Claro que podemos. This is the time to practice. O alguien más tiene oportunidad de practicar fuera de casa. De casa, de clase, perdón. ¿Mm? Aparte de esta hora, ¿alguien más que pueda practicarlo? No, right? Quizás Me. alguien. Excellent, Marlon. But keep on practicing. <laughs> keep on practicing. Pero ven, tal vez es un uno de los 27 estudiantes. Así que todos practiquemos. No tengan miedo, ¿ok? Don't be afraid. Next one. Participate. Participate. Why? Because if you participate, I can listen to you. Your classmates can listen to you and correct you. Okay? No tengan miedo de ser corregidos. No, ese es el propósito de una clase. Aprender de otros, no solo de mí, también de sus compañeros. Si los pongo a trabajar en grupos, lo mismo, interactúen con sus compañeros. No se queden callados, siempre cámaras encendidas. O porque digan, no, yo ya estoy adulto, me da pena que veo aquí adolescentes. No, no todos estamos en el mismo nivel. ¿Ok, class? Number four, number four. Who can read number four? Be on the time and in every class. Oh, look, in every class. Be on time. Okay. Así no nos perdemos 15 minutos y no sé qué está hablando la teacher porque entre 15 minutos tarde. No, así sabemos cuál es la secuencia de todas nuestras clases. 
aquí no nos perdemos el contenido. En caso de que haya algo justificado, ¿por qué no puedo asistir? Ya saben, chat de WhatsApp. Creo que ya todos estamos incluidos y si no, yo puedo compartirles el enlace para que ustedes se unan y ahí notifiquen. Teacher, voy cinco minutos tarde o estoy todavía en mi trabajo y por eso tengo mi cámara apagada, pero que sea justificado, ¿ok? Que se note que todos estamos dispuestos a aprender y que no digan, no me dijeron estas reglas. No, aquí están. Eh, mute your microphone, ¿ok? Solo si yo les pido, ok, everybody, let's repeat, let's participate. Todos encendemos micrófono y luego lo apagamos porque puede ser que alguien en casa esté cocinando, que tengamos alguna mascota, algún perrito, algo así, y nos interrumpa al resto de la clase, ¿ok? Así que tratemos de estar pendientes de nuestro micrófono. Eh, number, ¿qué será? Number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six, who can read number six? Number six. Jose Armando, thank you. Number six. <laughs> thank you. Help. Uh, help shoulder. each other. Help each other. Why? Acuérdense, no solo nos podemos ayudar maestro y alumno, no, también entre todos podemos aclararnos dudas, ¿ok? Y la última, que es muy importante, ask for help. Nunca se queden con la duda. Si es necesario repetir, yo repito. Si es necesario que busque yo más contenido, más ejercicios y se los comparte en el chat de WhatsApp, yo lo hago con gusto. O porque ustedes dicen, no, pero no es hora de la clase, no puedo preguntarle a la teacher. No, para eso está WhatsApp. Comunicación. Créanme que yo siempre me tomo el tiempo durante el día de revisar el chat y responderles, ¿ok? Tal vez si no respondo en el momento es porque estoy trabajando, pero siempre, siempre estoy pendiente. Pregúntenme, ¿ok? Ese eh, es mi propósito, ayudarles desde ahorita que vamos iniciando hasta nuestro último día en este módulo, para que no quede nada eh, pendiente de aclarar y que todos podamos ir avanzando al mismo ritmo, ¿ok? Y que no se vayan a frustrar y decir, ¿por qué mis compañeros se entienden? Y yo no, no. Ok, clase, pregunten, no se queden con las dudas nunca. No solo en este módulo, sino que en todos los módulos. Ok. What else? Oh, look at this one. This is so important. Hoy es 14 de marzo, el inicio de nuestro módulo. Y estaríamos finalizando cuando, clase. 17 de marzo. Ah, no. 7 no, de, de, uh -huh. de abril. Sí. Vamos desde ahora, del 14 de marzo hasta abril. ¿Ok? Eh, yo me tomé el tiempo de dividir todo el contenido que está en la plataforma en cuatro semanas, porque van a ser cuatro semanas que voy a estar con ustedes para que al final de la cuarta semana, el 7 de abril, digamos todos, hemos terminado. Y que no parecería, me asuste y no hice ninguna tarea y que no he tomado los exámenes. No, que vayamos con el tiempo eh, siempre bien medido para que sintamos que estamos disfrutando y que no sintamos que es una carga conectarme a hacer tareas. No, chicos. Semana 1, que va del 14 al 17 de marzo, porque solo nos conectamos de lunes a jueves. ¿Ok? Sección 1 y sección 2. Sección 1 y sección 2 completed. Secciones muy cortas. Y a la verdad, eh, muy claras las indicaciones, pero cualquier cosa, pregunten. Week number 2. Eh, dime, Ana María. Hola, buenas noches. Hola. Eh, con las disculpas del caso, entre hasta ahorita, porque uno viene noche de trabajo y otro okay. estaba un poquito más la conexión. Ah, okay. Disculpa, Don't no. worry. No, but thank you so much for being here. Gracias okay. por el esfuerzo. Thank you. Eh, okay. Retomando, semana 2, section 3 in midterm exam completed. Section 4 in section 5, vamos a trabajar con semana 3. Y en la última semana enfoquémonos en el final exam. Final exam. Les voy a mandar esta información a WhatsApp para que les quede ahí guardada en su 
el teléfono esta imagen y que ustedes cada vez que la vean sepamos, ah, semana uno, hasta dónde tengo que haber avanzado. Y si hay algunos pues que dicen, no, pero yo quiero avanzar y terminar todo, porque hay algunos que tienen esa capacidad. Eh, no hay problema, créanme que no hay problema. Vamos avanzando por secciones y si ustedes se sienten capaces de completar pues eh, sin... Eh, sin el ritmo que tenemos programado, háganlo. La idea es que lo hagan bien, ¿ok? No vayamos a completar solo por completar. Es mejor aclarar dudas y luego completar, pero si se sienten capaces, pues, démosle clase. Go ahead. Eh, let me see. Let's meet, o oh, veamos la plataforma. Ya todos entraron a la plataforma, ya vieron su curso activo, ¿sí? Yes. Yes, everybody. ¿Hay alguien que sea nuevo en este módulo? ¿No? Hoy todos ya tenemos la experiencia de trabajar con la plataforma. Yes. Yes. Ok. Entonces, solo veamos las rapiditos para que, eh, vea, eh, que vean el detalle. Curso. Aquí está. Tiene que parecerles así. Módulo 2. Section 1, 2, 3 and 4. En la sección 3 tenemos nuestro primer examen corto y en la sección 5 el examen final. Seis preguntas el final, seis preguntas el examen en sección 3. No olvidemos que también todas nuestras clases van a ser puestas en la plataforma por si se presenta cualquier inconveniente, la conexión me está fallando, eh, vengo de camino a casa todavía, no pude entrar a la clase, ahí va a estar el contenido. El manual del estudiante, todo el contenido se saca de acá. Si por alguna razón, porque solo es una hora, no podemos cubrir todo el material, todos los ejercicios, y ustedes quieren seguir practicando, acá está. Esa es eh, la base que yo tengo también para eh, poder sacar el contenido. Y así se lo vamos a explicar. ¿Está claro? Yes, no. Yes. Yeah. yes ok, yes, ya hablé mucho. Creo que ya hablé demasiado. Ah, but let me ask you. Do you have your English notebook? ¿Tienen su cuaderno de inglés? Si no, le doy 10 segundos para traerlo. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ok. English notebook. Write down this information. I need to know about you. I'm going to give you two minutes to write your information. My name is. My favorite food is pupusas, hamburgers, pizza. Tacos, Chinese food, Japanese food. Tell me. Okay. My favorite hobbies are listening to music, reading, riding a bike, riding a motorcycle, um, playing with my dog. I don't know. What do you like to do? My favorite color is black pink white yellow i don't know you tell me your information and the last one my favorite animal is so go ahead please let me know once you're done and say i finish i'm done very good Very good. Very good job.
Okay, time is over. Time is over. Don't forget your cameras on. How about Christian, Beatriz, Roxana, Kevin, and Ana Maria? Cameras on so I can see you guys. O los que tienen cámaras apagadas participan primero. Ah, there you are, Ana Maria. Excellent. Teacher, excuse me. Yes, brother. Uh, attendance. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take it at the end. Don't worry. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Now I can see you guys. Very good. So, do I have volunteers? Do I have volunteers? You can do this one. Hagamos esto para participar. Raise your hand. Así yo puedo darle el... Raise your hand. Let's interact. Usemos la tecnología. Raise your hand. Very good job. Here we go. Seven students. Si no pueden, no hay problema. Okay? Yo le doy la palabra. Here we go. Tell me about you. Tell me about you, class. Here we go. I have Jennifer. Go ahead, Jennifer. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. My name is Jennifer Hernandez. Uh -huh. My favorite food is pupusas. My favorite hobby are listen to music. And my favorite color is red. And my animal, my favorite animal is a lion. Oh, Ryan, interesting. <laughs> Excellent information, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Uh, Cristelia, you're next. Hello. Hello. My name is Cristelia Jimenez. My favorite food is hamburgers. My favorite hobbies, hobbies are uh, play with my dog, listen to music, and a student. My favorite color is yellow. My favorite animal is dog. Dog. You're a dog lover. Excellent. <laughs> Very good job. Um, Ana Maria. Hi. Ana Maria. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Ana Maria. <laughs> My name is Ana Sanz. My favorite food is China food. My favorite hobbies are watch action, action movies. Wow. <laughs> uh, my favorite color is red, and my favorite animal is a dog. It's a dog. Excellent. Thank it's you so dog. much, Anna. Very good job. Thank you. Who's next? Jorge. Hi, everyone. Hi. My name is Jorge. My last name is Hernandez. Uh, my favorite food is Chinese food because I like uh, spicy food. Spicy. Um, my favorite hobby is are play soccer and listening to music. Okay. My favorite color is black, and my favorite uh, animal is dog. It's dog. Excellent information, Jorge. Let me see. Thank you. Who's next? Let me see, Rebecca. Good evening. My name is Rebecca. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite hobbies are listening to music. My favorite color is blue. My favorite animal is a dog. Okay, dog lover. Very good job. Thank you, Rebecca. Class. Listen to your classmates. I'm going to ask you about their information. Okay. Voy a hacer preguntas de su información. Next. Thank you, Rebe. Who's next? Sandra Cecilia. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Sandra. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite hobby is sleep. Um, my favorite color is turquoise. My favorite animal is a uh, penguin. Really? 
Wow, interesting. England. Thank you, Sandra. Adriana. Hi, everybody. My name is Adriana Greta Gonzalez. About the people call me Adri. My favorite food is French frites. And my favorite for hobbies are uh, listening listening to music only in English and watch videos in Netflix or YouTube okay. or Disney Plus. And my favorite color is baby blue. And my favorite animal is a dog. It's a dog, okay. French fries, French fries. Papa Frita, verdad? French fries. Yes. Very good job. Uh, okay, let's make a pause. Do you remember who said? Quien dijo? My favorite animal is a lion. Lion. Who was it? No, don't tell me. No, maybe not. Don't say, yeah, I know. Who was it? Quien fue? Quien dijo? My favorite animal is a lion. I remember was. Uh, was Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer. No digan yo. Tienen que acordarse sus compañeros. Excellent job. It was Jennifer. Who said I like action movies? Action movies. Who was it? Action movies. ¿Quién dijo eso? Do you remember? And if I'm not mistaken, Rebecca. It was not ready. Right. Um, mm -mm. Another try, another try. Who Chris was? Celia. And, and Anna. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who? Jennifer? Who was it? Chris Celia. No, it was no? not Chris Celia. Uh -oh. yeah. It was Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Yes. <laughs> I like Chinese food because I like spicy, spicy food. Jorge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was it you, Jorge? <laughs> yes, right. Okay, Jorge, we cannot listen to you. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Very good job. I love French fries. French fries. Who was it? Gretel. Nope. No. French fries. Adri. Adriana, excellent job, Sandra. Excellent, okay, let's continue. Who's next? Can sigue? Raise your hands. Sigamos con las manos, okay? Raise your hands. Um, Ana Karina. Ana Karina, you're next. Very good, Ana Karina. Good evening, my name is Ana Karina Orellana. Mm -hmm. My favorite food is a pizza. My favorite hobby are dancing. My favorite color is red. And my favorite animal is a dog. Okay, very good. Thank you. Jose Armando. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> my name is Armando. Uh, my favorite color, uh, perdón, my favorite food is Medusa. My favorite hobby are listening to music and play guitar. My favorite color is black, the coffee. Mm -hmm. My favorite animal is the panther. Wow, interesting. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Catherine Larissa. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite hobby is visit place. Uh, my favorite color is brown. And my favorite animal is horse. Wow, like horses, very good. Thank you, Catherine. Um, Christian. My, my, name, my name is Christian. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite hobby is play soccer. My favorite is color green. My favorite animal, dog. Dog, okay. Excellent information, Christian. Who's next? Next, who's missing? Hey, let me see, Kevin. Very good, Kevin. Okay, 
sorry for my camera. I have a problem. Okay, go ahead. Okay, my uh, my name is Kevin Hernandez. Uh, I am 19 years old. My favorite food are pupusas and tacos. Yes. My favorite hobbies are read a book about different topics and list listening to electronic music. Wow. Uh, my favorite color are uh, black, gray, and white. Okay. And finally, my favorite animal is dolphin and dogs and cats. And cats, okay. Dogs and cats. Thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, Rene, you're the next one. Rene Eduardo, I know you can do it. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening to you. <clears throat> I'm sick, sorry. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Okay, my name is Eduardo. My favorite food is pizza. My, my favorite hobbies are fishing. My favorite color is silver. My favorite animal... Uh, I don't have one in particular. Okay. Okay. Excellent information. I hope you feel better. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Eduardo. Edgar. Edgar, you're next. Okay, thank you very much and good night. Good night. Everyone, my name is Edgar Francisco Galeano Sorto. My favorite food is uh, fried chicken. My favorite hobby are watch videos. Uh, my favorite color is blue and my favorite animal is bear. Wow, bear, excellent. Thank you so much, Edgar. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Beatriz. Good evening, people and teacher. Hi, Beatriz. My name is Beatriz Rivas. My favorite food is pupusa. My favorite hobby are sleep. My favorite color is um, blue. My favorite animal is rabbit. It's a rabbit, okay. You know, it's really interesting because my favorite hobby is to sleep as well, right? Do you like to sleep, class? Do you enjoy sleeping? Yes, right? We do, we do enjoy sleeping, okay? So thank you so much, Patrice. Uh, Roxana, how about you, Roxana? Hi, Roxana Beatriz. Are you ready? Uh, my name is Roxana Marguin. Uh, my color is uh, blue. Este, my favorite food pizza. Mm -hmm. y my um, favorite music. Animal. Uh, uh, animal, animal. <laughs> Empieza de nuevo. Ok, you can do it again. Uh, my name is Roxana Marroquín. Okay. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite hobby art is music. Uh, my favorite color is black. My favorite an animal is dog. Okay, thank you so much for the information. Wow, Eric, Eric. Good night. Good night to you. Uh, my name is Eric Hernandez. My favorite food my, uh, is China food. Wow. My favorite hobby is play basketball. Mm -hmm. My animal is a dog. Okay. My favorite color is red. Gracias. And that's Thanks. it. Very good job, Eric. Carlos, you're <laughs> next. 
Hi everybody. Hi. Uh, my name. My name is Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Um, my favorite food is sopa de frijoles. Um, my hobby is, is read, read uh, watch the movies, uh, Netflix, Prime Video, all the movies. Um, my favorite color is white and gray. Uh, my favorite animal is a cat and lion. Oh, interesting. Quite interesting. Thank you so much, Carlos. Samuel. Hello, everybody. Hello, Samuel. Uh, my name is Samuel Pineda. Huh? My favorite food is pizza. My favorite hobby are play volleyball. And I like to watch, watch Netflix. My favorite color is yellow. My favorite animal is dog. It's a dog. Okay, interesting. Thank you so much. Who's missing? I'm just missing four, four more students. Who's missing? Don't be shy. We want to know about you. Who's missing? No? Nobody? ¿Quién falta, chicos? Me. I know it. I was about to ask for your participation. Go ahead, Marlon. Well, so my name is Marlon Escalante. So I, my favorite food is Mexican food. So uh, my favorite color are um, black, green, silver, and sky blue. Okay. Um, I like to watch movie and series and HBO or Disney Plus or whatever app. Um, sometimes I like to read a book because I think that is important about me. Yeah. I learn to more vocabulary and different uh, connector or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. My favorite animal is a um, wolf, wow. and that's it. Quite interesting. Excellent job, Marlon. Okay, anybody else? How about Joaquin Antonio? Joaquin, did you participate already? Ya pasó Joaquin Antonio? Yes or no, Carl? Yes, no. Joaquín, ¿ya participó Joaquín? Hola, buenas noches. Hi, eh, tenía problemas de conexión oh, okay. al principio. Uh -huh. eh, ahorita voy a participar. Ok, go ahead. My name is Joaquín. My favorite food is pupusas. My favorite hobby is play soccer. Okay. My favorite color is blue. My favorite animal is rabbit. It's a rabbit, wow. Interesting information, okay? Thank you so much, Joaquin. Who's missing? Who's missing? Nobody? Vale, luego no me quiero quedar sin información de alguno, okay? So don't be shy. Nobody? Are you sure? Yo falto. Ajá, Cristian. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> my name is Cristian Reyes. My favorite food is spaghetti. My hobby are some listening to music, uh, watch the movie. And my favorite animal is jaguar. Wow. Imagine. Wait, give me a second. Interesting. So, nobody else, no more volunteers. Yes, no? So let me ask you, who likes sopa de frijoles? Who said that? I like sopa de frijoles. Let's say that, uh, Carlos. 
Carlos, right? What was Carlos? Excellent. Whose favorite animal is wolf? Wolf. Marlon. Marlon, yeah. Marlon said wolf. Excellent job. Whose hobbies is sleeping? <laughs> My favorite hobby is sleeping. Beatriz said sleeping. <laughs> Beatriz, exactly. It was it. Look at Beatriz's reaction. Excellent. It was Beatriz. I like to play basketball. Basketball. Who said that? Play basketball. Hmm? Samuel, let's say that. Was it you, Samuel? No, it was not Samuel. Christian. No. Joaquin. Eric. No. Eric, it's not bingo. Eric, excellent job, Edgar. You were paying close attention. So, yes, it was Edgar. Edgar, excellent job, class. So, this is for you to concentrate, listen to the information, and then answer correctly. So, you see, we know a little bit more about each other. Ya nos conocemos un poquito más. Okay, so. What is the first topic for this class? Look at this one. What is the first topic? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? Or how do you get to school? How do you get? Como llegan? How do you get to work? Mm -hmm. By car, by walking. How do you get there? Um, in my, in my opinion, so sometimes I use in my car. Okay. Um, sometimes I use in the bus. The bus. So okay. the situation, the gas is very hot. Yes, it is. So we need to so take the bus. Okay. It's very high. Yeah. It's very high. It's very high. Yes, very hard situation. Ana Maria, tell me. Yes, um, I go to my work to um, bus. Mm, <laughs> bus. Public, public tra transportation. Public transportation. Very good definition. Mm -hmm. Public transportation. So look at this one. Cool. Look at this one. Uh, my picture, it may be a little bit blurry. Puede verse un poco. No tan clara, pero prometo mejorar la otra clase. Ways to get to work. Get ways to get to work. And we have eight pictures. What do you see in picture number one? Let's describe picture number one. First picture. What is that? What's going on? Drive a car. Mm. So, by driving a car, driving a car. Driving mm -hmm. a car, that is the way to get to work. Do you drive your car or do you get to work by driving a car? Yes or no? No? No. Is this, is this a common way to get to work here in El Salvador? Yes or no? Is it common to see people getting to work by driving a car? Yes. Yes, it is, right? Es común yes, ver que la gente llega en carro a su trabajo o escuela. Yes, right? It's yes. so common. Number two, let's describe everybody. She walks to the oh. work. Walk. 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 So, by walking. Listen. By, by walking. walking. By walking. This is a very healthy option. Healthy way to get to work. Listen. By walking. Caminando. Walking. By walking. Le agregamos el by mm -hmm. al inicio. By walking. By Number walking. three. Very good. Number three. Give me the information. 
take mm -hmm. the bus. Exactly. The, the bus. Mm -hmm. bus. Listen, bus. The bus. bus. To take the bus. The do, bus. You, do you take the bus on a regular basis or every day? Do you take the bus? Yes. Yes. Do you take the bus and toman la 42? No. ¿Saben por qué les digo la 42? All right. Yeah. Yes. Come on, class. I take the bus. Yo tomo la 42. No, I'm just kidding. So, by bus. By driving a car. By walking. Don't forget that vocabulary. Number four. Number four. Yes, class. By take the subway. Oh, by taking the subway. Bacon. Do we have a subway here in El Salvador? Bacon. Do we have a subway? If no. I, <laughs> if, right. I, if I, I brown, mm -hmm. yeah, um, 15 years ago, maybe I using the, the, the subway. <laughs> we had that. The means of transportation. Really, teníamos subway here in El Salvador. Did exactly, exactly subway now, but like you're using you're using the the train. Ah, so it's so similar. Marlon, take a look at number five. Number five. Can you read number five? Mm -hmm. By Take it. taking the train. Oh, taking the train. So, what is the difference between? Taking the subway so, and taking the train. Subterrane, subterrane uh -huh. and yeah, exactly. you know, it's subterrane. Super. Listen, underground. 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 Uh huh. And the train, it doesn't go underground. It goes on the ground. Under, bajo, es como subterráneo. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. so, uh, do you know uh, or can you mention some countries in ¿Cómo which... se escribe, teacher, ¿cómo se escribe ground? Here we go. Let me help you. Don't worry. Ground under bajo. Mm -hmm. Ground. Okay, thank you. G R O U N D. Very good. So, can you mention some countries in which people, they take the train or the subway? Mm -hmm. China. China? ¿Qué países viajan en tren y en subway? Mm. New York and Brooklyn. Oh, look at that word. information. In England. Excellent. England? Russia. Russia, very good. Any other country? How about Japan? Here? Japan? Central, Central America and Japan, excellent. Central America. Train. Panama. Panama, there you go, Panama. Very good, so number six, number six. Can you help me out, Carlos? Number six. Um, by right. Riding a bike. Very good job. Riding a bike. Riding or riding a bike. Do you have a bicycle? Yes? Yes. Go yes. in the park. Ah, so do you ride a bike to get to work? No, only the park. Yeah, only exactly at the park. So this is not so common here in El Salvador, but there are so many countries in which people, they ride a bike on uh, daily, daily, uh, come on, daily base, I'm sorry, cada día, so ride a bike, ride a bike, okay, Rebecca, number seven, by ride a motorcycle, oh, riding, mm -hmm. or ride a motorcycle, motor, motorcycle, what is another way to say motorcycle, what is another way to say motorcycle? Do you know? ¿De qué otra forma le llamamos a las motorcycles? Motos. No. Bike. 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 
Very good. So, by riding a bike. Ana Maria, number eight. Okay. Um, by taking a taxi mm -hmm. or cab. By taking a taxi or a cab. What is the difference okay. between taxi and cab? <laughs> no, I don't know. You don't know? Anyone? What is different than what? Between taxi and cab. Taxi and cab. Cab or car? Um, cab. C A B. Uh, cab. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, I know. Is it the same thing? The same mean of transportation? Será lo mismo, clase. I want to listen think, to you. I think that the different is like um, uh, using the app, but you using the cab on um, the taxi. So do you look in, uh, in, the, in the street? So you wait. Uh, I didn't you go into whatever place. And the cap, uh, I think that you're using the app and you write uh, the, the situation on this, the, the, the place. And I don't know, I think that. Well, not really. You know, uh, it's the same. But as you may know, we have American English and we have British English. So, here we are learning American pronunciation, American English. So we call it taxi. But on the other hand, uh, people who speak or um, this other type of English, they call it cab. Okay, it's okay. a difference. <laughs> but you know, uh, for example, here in El Salvador, we have taxis and we have Uber, but it's the same service, right? La misma, el mismo servicio. Solo que por una aplicación. Same service. So, how do you get to work? I want to listen to you. How do you get to the school? How do you get to work? Or how do you move from a place to other class? Go. How do you get to one place to the other one? Mm -hmm. How do you travel? In my case, I take the bus. Uh, sometimes I drive a car, but never ride a bicycle. And you? In my case, uh, sometimes I, mean, I use in the bus. Okay. And um, I usually my car. And for the, for, no, um, mm -hmm. only that. Only that, excellent. How about Edgar? How do you get to work? And then you, Jorge, Edgar. Okay, uh, well, I, mm -hmm. for my job, I use my car and okay. like a, a Uber driver. Oh, excellent. So, so I need to move by car. By car, excellent. Yeah. And you, Jorge? In my case, I use the bus for, from my work from Monday to Friday. And Sunday, I, I use my bicycle or my I ride a bike on, on my uh, neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Very yeah. good job. So yeah. that is a healthy option. Excellent. And you, Rebecca? I take the bus to work. You take the bus to work. Okay, interesting. So class, vocabulary, driving, by walking, by taking the bus, by taking the subway, by taking the train, by riding a bike, by riding a motorcycle and by taking a taxi or a cab. Taxi or cab. We are going to continue with this information next class. Paso la asistencia y díganme here or present.
a partir de mañana sí, la tomamos al inicio, ¿ok? Tomamos al inicio la asistencia. Here we go. Today is 14th. Veamos. Dime hace ya. Bien, Adriana. Adriana. Here. Very good. Ana Karina. Present. Very good. Ana María. Present, teacher. Excellent. Carlos Alberto. Present. Oh, I have Carlos Alberto Cabrera and Carlos Alberto Villalobos. So, Carlos Alberto Cabrera. Yes. Very good. Carlos Alberto Villalobos. No. Cristian Adonai. Here, teacher. Excellent. Cristelia. Present. Cristian Alberto. Present. Edgar Francisco. Present. Edgar Isaac. Eric, si Eric Sigifredo. Present. Present. Eric. Jennifer Mercedes. Present. Joaquín Antonio. Present. Joana Beatriz. Present. Excelente. Jorge Alberto. José Hernández. Omar. Hernández, exacto. Oh, okay. I'm yes. here. Excelente. José Armando. Present. Very good. Juana Beatriz. Bien. She's not here. Kat Catherine Larissa. Present teacher. Very good. Kevin Alexander. Here teacher. Here teacher. Excellent. Marlon Ovidio. Present. Rebecca Abigail. Present teacher. Excellent. René Eduardo. Present. Very good. Roxana Beatriz. Present. Very good. Samuel Eduardo. Present. Eh, Sandra Cecilia. Present. And Yesenia Claribel. Okay, so questions about this topic. Yes or no? No? Is it clear? No. It's clear. Very good job, so. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Don't forget to practice your English, okay? Bye-bye, class. Thank you so bye much bye, for joining. Bye-bye. Have a great night. night. Good see night. You tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Please be punctual, okay? Bye-bye, yeah. class. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.